Hi friends, it's Sherry with The Homespun Wife. I am so tired. I have been grocery shopping this afternoon. I have a huge haul from Aldi that will probably last us about two to three weeks. And I had told you that I wanted to do a grocery haul with you. And so I thought this would be a great time to show you what I got. So let me turn my camera around so you can take a look. Here's my receipt from Aldi and I got so many things. I haven't been to the grocery store in a couple of weeks. Um, we've been super busy and um, I just haven't been able to go. And plus we've been on uh, doing some mission day trips and um, they fed us sandwiches and things like that while we were there. So I just put, put off buying the groceries until now. And here is my haul. It's all over um, my dining room table. And I will just kind of start going through what I got. I can't remember all the prices of everything, but my total was $168.97. And that's not bad considering that I, I got um, some paper products and trash bags and things that I don't have to get very often. Um, I actually got them now to stock up. And some of these things will actually go in my food storage. I try to keep a really good food storage, especially of canned goods, so that... Um, you know, if something was to happen, I would have extra things on hand. So let me go through. I'll start off on this side and show you. I got this um, Mexican uh, shredded cheese because I'm going to try to do a, a recipe for a Mexican casserole that I saw on Pinterest. And um, it called for some refried beans and guacamole, um, maybe salsa and chips and cheese. And it just looked really, really good and something that we would like. So I got this and the block of cheese also some carrots um, I bought these chicken breast tenderloins they were only $4.57 for this large package and there are, there's only two of us in our home right now me and my husband sometimes our children will stop by um, but they they only eat with us now and then and one of my daughters is a vegetarian and pretty much our whole family is fairly vegetarian her children will eat a little meat like chicken nuggets um, her husband will eat a little, but um, but anyway, this is for just me and my husband, so this will be several meals for us. Typically what I do is I will uh, put these on the foreman grill, and I will um, just season them with wh whatever it might be that I have. I have a lot of different seasonings that I like to use, and one of my very favorite ones, um, let me think if I can think of the name of it now. My mind has gone blank. Um, but anyway, it is really, um, I think it's called Herb de Provence. That's it, Herb de Provence. And it's one of my favorites, and I will do at least one with that. And um, and so that will, that will be what we have, several meals. And then I have the seedless cucumber. I have the hamburger meat, which was, um, you know, really good price on that. I will use this um, probably for some spaghetti and... Um, probably for this Mexican casserole. I'll use the other part. And then the smoked sausage. My husband can take this smoked sausage and put it with a small portion of this hamburger meat, make the best spaghetti sauce ever, incorporating garlic, onion, peppers, and other things. It is so good. Um, and so that's why I bought, bought this smoked sausage. And also these um, center cut pork chops. I will do them um, either I might do them in the slow cooker, but most likely I'll do them on the foreman grill. It just depends. And then here I got some chicken breast patties. Um, we like these on nights when I'm not feeling my very best or when we're in a hurry. It's nice to have something that you can just throw in the oven and you don't have to worry about so much. Because I do have rheumatoid arthritis, um, sometimes my inflammation just gets the better end of me and by the end of the day, I'm tired and don't feel like standing at the stove. So this is one of those things I'll make up some slaw and we'll have a sandwich. And then my husband loves the lines and the lemons, and we, we both love these in our tea, but he especially loves the limes. Uh, we have a Keurig that my mom gave me, and so um, here are two coffees. These are only $4.49 each, and you know how expensive they can be when you go to buy them at Walmart or something. And um, so I, I pick up my coffees when, when I'm there. They also have vanilla and maybe one other, like breakfast blend or something, in these K-Cups, which is pretty good. Then I have my milk. I bought the trash bags. Um, these are the really good kind. The last time I went, I bought some at the dollar store, and every one of them, when I try to take them out of my can, has fallen apart, and all my trash has ended up in the floor, and I pretty much ended up just throwing them away, and that's terrible to have to do, so I thought it's worth it to pay a little bit more because um, we only really fill up our trash can every two 
for three days. And so, you know, this will last me a really long time. Every time I go, I pick up a box of tissues and put them in my storage. We have a few places in the house where I keep, um, you know, little tissues um, for our noses and things and to wipe our glasses off with. And so I stock up on them and uh, keep them. And I don't do it every single time, but just about every time I go, I try to pick up at least one. Then here is the Ultra Soft, the Mega Roll. This is like nine rolls equals 36. This is what I have found last us the longest. This, this tissue right here, these nine rolls will last us a really long time. We have two restrooms here. And, um, and so I always, when I, I just opened a pack today and whenever I open a pack, I always go out immediately and either get another or, um, you know, find a deal on them. So, um, so this is the, the, the toilet tissue from Aldi, which is, works really well. And then also this eight pack of, um, paper towels. I love to use paper towels. I try to be frugal with them. Some people have a paperless kitchen. I wish that I could, but um, I just find that I, I, I use them. I try to be frugal with them, but I do use them, so I pick those up. And then here's a couple dozen eggs. They were 85 cents um, per dozen, and sometimes I can get them for 69 cents a dozen. It just really depends. Um, but they do have a li limit on them because they are inexpensive, and uh, they try to keep them for other people. Then I have the saltines, which my husband has already broken into and gotten the peanut butter cracker. And then here's some of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, treats. They happen to have them. They don't keep them all the time. They're gluten-free. They're the cho dark chocolate covered bananas. I like those. I got some ketchup for food storage. I got us some Italian cream for our coffee. I got several pizzas. These are $2.29 each. You know, you can make a pizza for probably half that at home, but you have to have all the supplies on hand and you have to let your, you know, get your dough going and all of that, which is fine, which is fine. But a lot of times when we're having pizzas, we're in a hurry. And so um, instead of ordering them out somewhere, we just get these from Aldi's and I got several of those and they do really well. And then here are some of, some of the produce. Aldi's is really known for their produce. They have wonderful produce and the prices, you just can't beat them. This is the first time I've tried this tiny citrus salad kit. I don't usually get kits, but I just thought it's hot and um, right now outside. And this uh, with the kale, would just it looks like it would taste so good. So I'll let you know how I like this. Um, this was $2.99. That's more than I would usually pay. But for a, for something uh, like this, that's a good deal. And then I got the spring mix and the romaine lettuce. Um, sometimes I wrap up tuna and eat it out of this. And then two avocados for our Mexican guacamole that I was telling you about. I got these, um, I love cucumbers, especially these small ones in this little bag. They're so good. So I got some of those. Also got some of these um, diamond sweet peppers. They're really good. You can put either cream cheese on them. You can cook with them. They're, they're good. Then for sandwiches, I got the turkey breast and the honey ham under here. That is some sour cream. The last two weeks that I've bought sour cream, my daughter has called and said, can I swing by your house and get sour cream on the way home? I don't want to take the kids into the grocery store to get it. So I haven't been able to have keep sour cream very much because one of my daughters is always needing it. I should have bought two in case she calls this week. Then I have um, these um, different bars. My husband sometimes likes to take these to work and have them for a snack there. I also got some corn, which looks really good. I got some jelly in here. We were running out of jellies, and in the mornings when he has toast and things, we, we were getting really low. So um, we have my honeysuckle jelly that I made, um, but sometimes we like something different than that. You know, you want a variety. So I got these two things. They were well-priced. Got my cabbage for my slaw. Um, got some... Uh, my Alfredo sauce and my spaghetti sauce. I try to get one of these every time that I go. Inexpensive, good to keep on hand. And then I've got uh, just a little pasta that I have with my Alfredo. And that's a super quick meal too, if you want to do something fast. And then um, I got these cookies. I got the iced oatmeal, my husband's favorite, and the fig bars, which I really love. I think they're like 99 cents. You cannot beat that. And then I got the hamburger buns. With this, we will have those chicken sandwiches, and we will also have some hamburgers with this. Um, I bought some of this garlic bread. Um, I bought the Hawaiian sweet rolls, which we can, um, if I do the ham that I bought, if I heat that up um, with some, some spicy mustard, we can have it on this, these little sweet rolls. I bought two loaves of sandwich bread. These are 85 cents each. I bought some celery. I bought um, this great Athena cantaloupe, which looks so good. Some bananas. I bought a bag of peaches. Um, these look really good too. Vidalia onions. I bought this large bag of potatoes, which I keep on hand. I just had made some potato salad and used up some of the last of our potatoes. So got potatoes to go again. Um, 
got some of these beans, which I'm going to take. I have some country ham right now that I need to use, and I'm going to probably just throw these in the crock pot with that country ham one day and have that. Here are some refried beans that I got to go with our Mexican casserole. The pork and beans, I will make my own um, homemade baked beans, I guess you could say, and um, I really like them. I put a lot of brown sugar in there, so I like to make it myself. I also got the black olives down here. These were for the Mexican casserole, and then the tuna, the diced tomatoes, and I got some canned pinto beans. Like I say, I like to keep some canned things on hand, and when I'm in a hurry and I don't need a whole pot of beans, I just need this as a side, um, I have it on hand, and then I got chicken noodle soup, which is one of our favorites any time of the year. And I bought black eyed peas. I have just some regular olives, um, which we like to eat with our block cheese. I got some pancake mix. And I got several bags of chips um, because we really like those. Um, I got the corn chips, the barbecue chips, the regular chips. And then I got those, uh, let's see if I can get back here. These um, restaurant style chips um, for us to, you know, to have our Mexican dish that I was telling you about. And then here we have, um, some breakfast sandwiches, these are primarily for me. Now and then, I really love to have one of these in the morning. They just get me going, and so I love them. And then something I would highly recommend for you to try is this Black Angus Burgers. They're bacon cheddar, and they are so good, and they really cook up quick. I do them on the Foreman Grill, and they are really good quality, and um, they are fantastic. And so I can throw them on the grill, uh, on just my foreman grill. Sometimes we'll grill outside. We do have a big gas grill out there and our gas grill is hooked to our house so we never have to worry about running out of gas for the grill. But when it's just the two of us and it's really hot outside, we just grill inside on the foreman grill and it works great. Um, so here is my haul that I got. I think I showed you just about everything that I have. And once again, here is my receipt. This will last us at least two weeks, maybe three. And then some of these things will last longer than that, you know, like your paper products. And, and some of these things will go in food storage. $168.97. So there you go, friends. There is my Aldi haul. Have you ever shopped at Aldi? Do you love them? I certainly do. It's just about the only place that I go now. Um, you, you know, if you've never been, take your own bags. You have to put a quarter in the buggy at the front of the store and you'll un unattach it from the other buggies. Then you use it to buy your groceries and of course you package your groceries yourself. And once you get them out to the car, you bring your buggy back and you can get your quarter out. And it's just a great way to keep them from having to pay a full-time person just to manage buggies. Um, so if you've never tried Aldi and you have one near you or you're getting one near you, please give it a try. I think you will find the quality is wonderful and the prices are great. Friends, thank you for um, giving me a thumbs up on this video and for subscribing. And let me know what other kinds of videos that you would like for me to do. And I would be happy to, um, to do them for you because I enjoy spending time with you. Have a great day, friends, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, friends, after I finished my grocery haul, I realized that a portion of this corner showed in my video, and I wanted to tell you about this. This is my growing food storage. Now, this is not all of my food storage. This is the food storage that I haven't been able to get into my cabinets, and it is beginning to be a little bit of a problem because it is taking up a portion of my dining room floor uh, right here next to my uh, china hutch, and it just... Is something I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to manage the extra groceries that I'm bringing into the house. Um, right now, my cupboards are fairly full. And um, as I'm buying things, I'm running out of room to put them in the cupboards. And I would really like to separate out my food storage. Um, we have um, an extra bedroom right now in our house that um, is fairly empty. Um, and so I'm thinking about making that room into a food storage collection room and um, maybe shelving, putting some shelving in there and um, putting some of our extra foods in there. It's always a good idea um, to have extra food on hand. You never know what type of um, situation that our world might um, run into. And so I like to keep things on hand and right now it's in this spot and also in my regular cupboards. I have a lot of kitchen cabinets and they are pretty much full with um, with food storage. So I need to get some of this out in its own location. I just haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that yet. So that might be a good thing for um, another video coming up. And then another thing that showed is this high chair. This high chair was given to me 
um, actually given to me and my husband by one of his friends. This high chair belonged to him when he was a child. And as you can see, it's in good shape, but it just needs to be worked on a little bit as far as um, its appearance. Um, he said that they did not have trays when he was a baby. They would slide the, the child up to, directly up to the table, and those little arms will fit right up underneath the table. And then if they needed the child to be strapped in, they would take <clears throat> either an apron or a long dish towel and would tie it on either end. To, um, to secure the child to the chair. And that, that's really sweet. Um, but I'm trying to decide, am I going to paint this or am I going to strip it? I really haven't decided yet what to do. And so I've set it right here in front of this window so I can be ever mindful to think, how am I going to, um, what am I gonna do with this high chair? Am I gonna paint this and what color would I paint it? Or am I just gonna strip it down and leave it? What am I gonna do? So if you have any suggestions about what I might could do with this high chair, please leave them in the comments below. These are some things that stood out in, um, in my haul video and I thought I would kind of explain them to you. Um, leave comments below if you have any questions. Talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.